Previously on The Potentialists. And the party just gets better. And I'm, I'm staying away from you all the time. You're dangerous. It's my birthday cake. It's your birthday? They're very sharp. That's a thorn. And look who just got here from Tampa, guys. And he's coming around the corner. He's madness. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Watch ah! Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. So I wanted to share with you guys letters of appreciation from different organizations we've worked with throughout the years. That's impressive. A little <laughs> collection of all the community service that we've done throughout the years. That's impressive. And this is the Restore Belize. There's an article that came out of the paper. This is from the Department of Children and Family. This is when Burke came out in the Business Journal. Community Blood Centers of South Florida. Up with Down Syndrome Foundation. Palmetto Senior High. Dante Pasala Elementary. Aventura Marketing Council. Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. Advanced Agent Training for Xerox. El Noah Herald did an article. Corner. Look at Miles, <laughs> my brother Ray. This is Junior. We were making them serve even when they were extremely little, so they understood the importance of it. We did Super Bowl 33. I don't have a letter from them because we didn't collect letters from everybody. Now we find into the habit of going back and saying, hey, can you, you know, send us a letter of appreciation because we didn't understand the importance of it. But nowadays you understand the importance, so maybe this can help somebody collect your letters. <laughs> We didn't come from highly successful parents or anything like that. I mean, they were success in their own right because they were immigrants, especially Victoria who came to this country by herself with her, you know, 11 month old baby. There's a lot of things you don't understand when you come to another country. You know, being firstborns of immigrants, you kind of got to figure it out for yourself because you don't really have a mentor or family or anybody that can give you advice. So you figure it out. Yeah. And since we came from families where sometimes you needed help, you have to give back so you can get to a certain level. So we were sitting around the house and uh, Sergio was in the dining room. We were in the studio and Nick decided to come and grace us with his appearance. Unfortunately, we couldn't see much of him because... So you all move to this. Yes, we're, yeah. we're, dealing, we're dealing with, with the infectious disease. He has H1N1. <laughs> You're trying not to write it. Can I catch your tongue? Yes, SARS. Try. Mask got your tongue. You going into surgery soon? What are you doing? No, I'm still very sick. So I'm trying not to get any more sick. And I'm kind of getting over the flu. What do you have that you have to have that? It's not what I have, it's what I don't want to catch anymore. He was wearing the mask not to prevent us from getting sick, but to prevent him from getting more germs. That seems backwards, doesn't it? Doesn't that seem, that just seems backward? The whole weekend I was in bed, like I had my whole family come down to take care of me, it was that bad. What like I couldn't hell? get out of bed, everything like, to Nick, will you tell them the truth is admitted, you're just an ugly mouthful, that's why you put that out. This is your next plan of action? <laughs> Wait till I get better, he's got jokes. I come back with a vengeance. Do you really? And a mask. <laughs> oh, man. Something a little strange having you around here with that mask. I don't know whether you're actually going to rob me or, or you're going to infect me. I'm just going to turn this off, I'm so disgusted. So if you're infected, what the f*** are you doing here? Dude, you don't show up when you're healthy. Now you're gonna show up when you're freaking infected with SARS? I'm gonna get infected now and I gotta pass it on? Bro. 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 I am the incredible shrinking Alexa. That's right. I started Atkins. It's going well. You know what? It's going really good because the team has decided that they're gonna support me in this journey of transformation again <laughs> it helps when everybody's aware and not trying to feed you and, and put down the bad foods down you down your throat all the time so Sergio always volunteers to cook us our our meats and our foods I love you Sergio what kind of office is this man what are you doing uh, well I have here a very Atkins style diet for everybody and everybody I'm trying to support everyone Oh, okay. He's by hand, and you're with a fork and a knife. What's yes. up with that? I'm a lady. Aww. I'm a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear that. <laughs> Looks like I came out the right time. <laughs> Um, there's this tea, it's all natural, and you take it and it kind of makes you want to go poop. If you take too much of it, you're going to be pooping too much. Valerie and Eric decided that they would like to poop. Eric, what are we doing? We're going to be trying some kind of cleansing tea. 
But, um, it's supposed to be cleansing. And, and um, Alexa has recommended that we make sure. We'll make plans later. <laughs> Do you have plans later? I do. I have a game tonight at 10 o'clock, so what's the, what's the worst that can happen? I don't know, but I really hope he vlogs later. <laughs> if only cameras could capture the smell of things, you guys would be lucky not to be here. What do we have? We have tea. We have tea. We have tea. We're about to do the cleansing tea. Oh. Oh, God. Have you Are done? all bathrooms fake it? <laughs> Alex said it's like a six hour later deal. Oh, okay, it's that one. <laughs> that, there was, there's, there's a more aggressive one? There's different kinds. It actually doesn't taste that bad. It smells disgusting, but it doesn't taste that bad. Oh, it doesn't taste bad. Why do you guys buy it? Because Eric brought it up, and so Alex and I were like, yeah, why not? You guys are going to be sh a lot. <laughs> Gonna come all at once. I have a hockey game tonight at 10. Is this not... <laughs> tonight at 10? You're f that's what Alex kind of said. I yeah, think you want to get out of hockey, huh? Yeah, and you're the goalie, you're in one spot. It's not even like you're moving around, you're in one spot. It is, it is very awkward when I have to fart, you know, and if it's a bad one, and you know, the don't fart because <laughs> you will not fart. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a really fun day. Gonna... I'm having coffee. That ought to help the situation. There yeah, There's definitely movement. Hey yo, how you doing? Check this out. It's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowler World. Feel me?